Hello, welcome to another ExcelAtTheOffice.com video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to switch off Copilot. I've given you the quick answer on the screen here because uh, everyone's impatient. They want everything in the first few seconds, so there you go. Um, but the structure of this video is going to be how to disable Copilot in uh, Word and then PowerPoint and Excel isn't quite ready yet, but um, there's some options you have there. Um, but uh, I'm going to first start off with a bit of a rant, and then I'm going to show you how to do it precisely. So, thanks Microsoft. Copilot is one of those things, it's jumping on the AI bandwagon to try and uh, help people create some content when they uh, can't be bothered to use their creativity. Um, there are some uh, fairly interesting things. You'll probably see it here on the home ribbon, um, whereby you can create, uh, you can ask it to create some content for you, some badly written uh, paragraphs. You can ask it to create pictures, and so, for example, uh, well, the pictures are still pretty terrible these days. You have people. It creates pictures of people that look a bit like aliens. And if you get it to create pictures of aliens, they're probably alien to those aliens. Um, I don't know. It's one of those things that Microsoft like to impose on people. It's very hard to um, take it out. But recently, they've enabled you to switch it off. And most people, I mean, for me, I, don't, I just... They've only enabled that because loads of people have complained. Like, I don't, I don't want a co-pilot. I'm the pilot. I don't want this uh, harassing, uh, stalking co-pilot following me around, suggesting things wherever I click. It appears here. It's really annoying. If I'm in PowerPoint, um, it appears uh, up here to suggest, oh, do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? No, just leave me alone. I just get rid of Copilot. I just want to switch it off. Uh, that switch, however, is uh, buried. Uh, but first of all, let's switch it off in Word. So the first thing uh, you'll need to do is go to your file and um, go to your options. If it's not in these options, by the way, you'll need to go to your account and check your update options and check for a, a new update because if you've got a slightly older version that won't be available to you but go to your options you'll find there's once you've updated it and as at the 16th of January 2025 uh, that's when Microsoft decided okay we'll let people turn off Copilot in Word they do not allow people to turn off Copilot yet uh, as of uh, two weeks later or so in PowerPoint and Excel. Um, however, uh, that's probably coming down the line, but there's a little workaround if you want to try it. Um, so go to your co-pilot and as Microsoft loves to do, it buries things in a deep, deep options section, but uh, you can switch that off. I don't want to enable co-pilot. There we go. It's no longer a snazzy rainbow logo anymore. It's it's sad and greyed out because you don't love it anymore and don't want it hassling you. Um, and it no longer appears on your document. And probably it no longer eats up a lot of your battery being ready to do stuff in the background, whirring away, using up more memory and uh, so on and so forth. So it leaves you to get to your own, uh, do your own business. There is an article on uh, Microsoft.com which says how to turn off Copilot in Microsoft 365. Um, it's a bit misleading at the moment because uh, it says use the enable Copilot checkbox to turn off Copilot as I've just shown you. Um, but it's only available in Word and Word. The Mac Word and the Windows Word. Um, so yeah, it takes you through those steps. Uh, Microsoft being Microsoft, uh, uh, struggling to update, I guess, the uh, <laughs> Excel and PowerPoint. Even though they're fantastic tools, it's just one of those niggles that you just have to put up with. That they're not. It's not a perfect company by all means. Um, 
However, there is a workaround while those uh, PowerPoint and Excel Copilot switches do not yet exist, uh, which is that you can uh, change your privacy settings to turn off Copilot. So the way, um, I won't show you how to do that, but um, on this article I'll just highlight the relevant bit. So again, go to File and Account, but this time go to your Account Privacy bit and Manage Settings. Um, and you can uh, turn on or turn off, sorry, the checkbox that associates the, the experiences that analyze your content. Um, so then you only change it once and that turns that off. But just bear in mind that that, or it, it just means that Copilot doesn't properly work. It doesn't actually properly turn it off. Um, but you're also turning off other features that you might want to use. Um, so suggested replies, automatic alt text for images. So it's not just Copilot you're turning off with that. There's a bit of a collateral damage uh, that goes along with that. So uh, yeah, that in Word is how you turn off Copilot these simple three steps to find the deep dark option that Microsoft's buried because it wants people to use Copilot. I hope you found this video helpful to ease your frustrations. Uh, by all means you can contribute to my work uh, that I do in my spare time and for your free enjoyment at excelattheoffice.com or Ito dot blog goes to the same place uh, you'll find as well a heap of other useful content like really cool um, word templates um, and particularly uh, an array of PowerPoint templates you can use including stranger things themed ones um, uh, and uh, yeah some other things there so go check that out in my other videos give this a thumbs up and um, take care I'll speak to you again soon